anxiety, nervousness, fumbling. Now there's more opportunities and ways to be rejected and humiliated. It's this desire to find your perfect match, but there's no rule book. In the beginning, dating came with strict rules. Break them, and you were cursed for all eternity. For single women, the future seemed bleak. Then there was Bridget, and single women everywhere rejoiced. When I first read Bridget Jones, I wanted to sue for plagiarism because I felt like this was my novel, this was my life. It's all the internal monologue. I've got to lose weight, I've got to stop doing this, I've got to start doing something else. Helen Fielding put out there somebody who we'd never heard the voice of before, which was basically all of us, the typical single girl who was completely convinced that she was alone. Before Bridget Jones and before Sex and the City, the single woman was a, a sidekick. And in this case, she not only was the lead, she won in the end. I mean, there's been all these bloody hints and stuff, but has he ever actually stuck his fucking tongue down your fucking throat? No, not once. The two of them created this much more overt sexual dynamic. So many people think of singledom as a handicap, some kind of unnatural state of being. Tell me, is it one in four marriages that ends in divorce now, or one in three? I started just thinking about all the singles that are out there that have been really cool. Like, you know, God is single. God is even a single parent household. Yes, that's right. I like to say that single is the new married, that there is a certain uh, jealousy I think married people now feel for the single gal and guy who are out there kind of not settling and, and waiting for the right thing. I mean, why do we think that married people are better catches just because they've been caught? I mean, think about all the married people that are out there. Frankenstein, married. Excellent. Hitler, married. You know, Linda Tripp, married. Good, good. Yes, that's very useful, very useful. But meanwhile, some of the cool people out there, um, there's all the superheroes are single when you think about it. Superman. Yummy. The Lone Ranger. Um, Buddha is single. Well done. We are starting to say you can be the star of your own show. You know, you can be the center of your universe instead of it being you need to find somebody um, and then you will start to matter. <laughs> The crazy thing about being single is that women are constantly trying to find the one formula that will make them look perfect and make them single no more. If someone actually saw us for who we were, their eyes may burn out of their sockets. Even though there has been some time that has passed since Bridget Jones' diary has come out, some things haven't changed, and that is our world's emphasis on women and looks. I mean, we really live in a culture of complete narcissism and terror and anxiety about personal appearance. Models are the ones dating Leonardo DiCaprio and Mick Jagger, you know? I'm not dating Mick Jagger. I'm never gonna date Mick Jagger. I think women who don't believe that any of those things are important, that don't think that it's important to really wear the right clothes and have the right hair and makeup, are kidding themselves. And in a way, it's really almost like an armor. It's like getting ready for war, and she is suiting up and getting ready to go out there in the world and try to fight to win the man. When you're single, you really believe that there's the right way to be. And you don't know exactly what that way is, but you're looking for it. And you think if you just try a couple of different things on, you'll hit it. It's very difficult to balance the professional and the personal, especially for women, because I think they're, very, they're trying very hard in the workplace to prove that they belong there. We have the famous expression that nice guys finish last. So guys know that. But girls don't know, do nice girls finish last? Because if you're really nice in business, then somebody thinks like, oh, she's a girl, she's being so nice, she's kind of wimpy, you know? But then if you're really tough, then people call you bitchy, you know? So nice girls finish last, but tough girls are called bitchy. We kind of don't know that right balance. Instead of just facing the traditional bar scene, we now have more ways that we can find depression in our lives than ever before.
personal ad writing is very important these days because personals have become so huge. What you never want to do is say that you love your cats and you don't want to say that you're beautiful or pretty because immediately men think the opposite. You shouldn't say that you're a good cook because people think you're fat. Men like the words cute and adorable. Yeah, I guess in general men like naughty nice girls, you know, or nice naughty girls, probably in that order. Men love tomboys, throw that in there if you want to. Don't have a picture taken with you with a cat or a tiny little puppy. Big dog is good, men like big dogs. Men are not interested in personal ads that have endearing qualities. They don't want to see that you're a good listener or compassionate. That makes you sound pathetic. Online dating is its own kind of fiction. Just like in real life, you know, that first three second hit of what they see and hear about you is the most important. You know, if you don't get their attention right away, it doesn't really matter because it's the first three seconds and then like yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. There's something almost old fashioned and Jane Austen like in online dating. You're really actually writing letters to each other in some way and it builds a relationship before you've even met the person and so in that sense it may be less artificial than a blind date. It's something to do while on the phone with your mother. She's like, why aren't you out there meeting someone? You can be on the internet meeting someone while your mother's complaining to you about not meeting somebody. It's fun and you can do it from home. I mean, isn't that the ultimate is to be able to sit in your pajamas and go on a date. I do think women should still be optimistic. Being negative gives you wrinkles, and I don't think anybody wants to date a wrinkly girl. Be yourself and pay attention to the personal grooming. I'd like to think that dating has become a little more glamorous thanks to Bridget Jones and Sex and the City. It's no longer just kind of an arduous quest. It can also be fun and exciting. Women out there, this is the secret to getting a man. It's like you have to do the come hither, but then the go away. Like this is the, the naughty and then the nice. You know, it's like, you know, this is the secret. Right here. <laughs>